Welcome to week three of Friday Night Highlights. I'm Jessica Vo. Now, Bishop Diego has been traveling up the Central Coast a lot lately, and this time the undefeated Cardinals took a visit to St. Joseph for our FNH Game of the Week. KSBY sports reporter Chance Dickman is live now at St. Joe with all of the action from tonight. How's it going, Chance? Thank you, Jessica. It's going great. This game living up to all of the billing. That's why we made this one game of the week. Bishop Diego looking for revenge on St. Joseph, who beat them just one year ago, 21 to 17, down in Santa Barbara. A matchup of two of the Central Coast's best, the Knights hosting the Cardinals. First half, not much action, but St. Joe's would take the early lead as Dino Maldonado connects with Mason Beely for the 14-yard touchdown. Knights led 10-3 at the break. Now strap in your seatbelts for the second half. First drive for Bishop Diego, and they march all the way down the field. Evan McKeegan caps it off with a two-yard TD, game tied at 10. But here come the Knights right back at you. Jaden Vargas up the gut, and he won't be stopped. Just like that, the Knights regain the lead 17-10. Fourth quarter now, Cardinals swarming to the end zone for six. McKeegan punching in his second touchdown of the game. Here we go, it's all tied at 17. St. Joseph seeing that seven and raises them six more. Dino the great Bambino taking it himself untouched and right into your living room. However, the extra point was no good. 23-17 Knights lead it. Under two minutes to play, Bishop Diego riding the legs of John Harris. On fourth down, muscling, clawing all the way inside the 10 yard line, looking like Franco Harris. The clock stops, very next play, who else? El Caballo, the horse. Harris ties the game at 23. They bring on Jack Luckhurst for the PAT and the lead. You bet he sticks it here. It's a game winner. St. Joseph can't convert on their next drive. Bishop Diego gets revenge on St. Joseph. 24-23 the final. Oh, I felt amazing. I mean, just like standing on the sideline before, you're shaking, you're getting ready. I mean, before I went out there, I told John right before he made those big runs, I said, if you score, I promise you I'll make that extra point. So we did good snap, good hold. Everything's good. You know, I'd say that's one of the more unique and special things about this team. The composure level is pretty impressive for a team of, you know, 17, 18 year olds. We, uh, we kept it together very well, and that's what we've been doing the whole season. So shout out to everyone on our team. We, we kept it together the whole game. 